Hey everybody, in this video we're going to mix a track from start to finish using Luna. In part one, we're going to export an AAF from another DAW, import it into Luna, and set up all the buses. If this is your first time visiting the channel, please subscribe and hit that bell button. We've got a lot more Luna content coming your way. Alright, I'm here in Logic. I'm going to export an AAF. I'm going to put it in an AAF folder. It's already named. I'm going to leave these default settings. Save it out. Let it do its thing. It's like I'm leaving the past behind. We're going to move over to Luna. Fire it up. All right. Starting the new project. I'm going to call it Moments. And I'm going to say start from AAF. Yes, I finally figured out what it is. It's over here. It's over here. All right. There it is, moment AAF. Okay, looks like that's set. Uh, add MIDI. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to delve into that. Let's see what happens. I'm hoping it brings it in. I have a bad feeling that it's not going to bring it in. I'm at 128 on the tempo, so I guess I'll change it just in case. Um, and let's, I'm gonna save the location back into a similar area because I want that stuff to be together. Save it right. I'll save it in this main folder and see what happens. Okay. All right. I'm going to create. Let's see what happens. All right. It's reading, it's importing the files. Cross my fingers. Okay. All right. I see my tracks and I'm not seeing any of the MIDI stuff. I sure was hoping that that would have come in. So now that I know that, I'm going to go back over to Logic, grab the MIDI sections, and I'm going to export selection as MIDI files, all MIDI tracks as a MIDI file. Let's see what happens. Okay. I'll just throw it in the AF there too. I'll save that out. Hopefully that does it. You might run into something similar in uh, Pro Tools or Cubase or Studio One, <laughs> or Alberton. Uh, what else is there? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, great. I think it exported it. Let's try to import now. Yes, let's import and see what happens. Hopefully this does it for me. That would be really nice. So I go to AF. I've got a MIDI file. Let's see if I can open this and let's see if it just... I'll use the tempo map. It should line everything up. Okay. And it looks like it did it. This is really nice. Thank you for doing that. All right. I'm going to switch back to mini. I can go up and down and let's see what happens when I play. Great, it worked. That's fantastic. So let's hop in right here. And of course, I'm getting used to uh, this just like everyone else is. And I want to, what do I want to do here? If I double click on it, I can control the gain of the clip right there. Perfect. So I'm going to pull this down. Fantastic. That was just bothering me. So let's look what happened to my MIDI tracks. Let's solo this one. So if I go to the mix view, that yes, there are no instruments. So that makes sense. Let's, since this is a piano, let's go ahead in and plug in, uh, we'll plug in shape. Now shape is thinking about opening. Okay, it pulled up my boy okay and we have the light bell there let's see if uh, okay good i heard you hit e that's nice okay so this did do what i was hoping good great so this is a song I had recorded um, a couple months ago. 
wanted to give it another approach with the mix. So this is a great opportunity to just bring it in here, try a whole another setup and take advantage of all the stuff that's in Luna and the workflow and everything. So great. It's all come in. I'd love to start uh, just organizing this a bit more. Uh, I'm going to grab all my drum tracks and I guess I can just select them right there. That's right. I really don't like these colors. I want to right click and I want to edit these colors. I wish maybe there's a secret way to do it. So I got these colors that I don't want to use. We'll do that. Electrics and a temp guitar. We'll make uh, this yellow color. That 47 is, I think, part of a uh, drone. This should be improperly named. Shame on me. Okay. Vocals can be brighter color. Bass DI can be green. Ugh. <laughs> Tambourine, okay. We'll put it near the percussions. Man, this is driving me crazy. These colors are killing me. Hopefully at some point we have some nice custom colors and you can do whatever color palette you want. Uh, really bothering me, but but it's okay. I'll try to get I'm gonna try to get over it, guys. So I got some orchestral elements I wanted to do in here. I was using east-west stuff, which I love. We'll see what happens with these stock guys in shape. Um, we'll make these purple. Whoa. This is so painful. Instrument one, I'm not sure I should have named these. We'll make these red. Uh, harp. Three harps. We'll make this orange. Main volume, we'll make this dark color. Okay, we've done that. Ugh. Okay, so I'm gonna grab these guys and let's see how difficult this is to, um, do I go new tracks maybe? Type, bus, name it, uh, let's do a drum, we'll do a drum bus, a general drum bus. I'm gonna look at it here in this view. And so it automatically created a niche summing for me, um, which I don't own. So I'm gonna do none for now. Uh, and maybe we'll do a trial of this a little bit later. Uh, and for this, I'm gonna keep it in the family outputs are all going to main. So I didn't tell this to do everything going to that drum sub, but right now that's what I'm gonna do. Look at that, pretty simple. That's great. So now I'm gonna create a second drum sub and I wonder, can you control, cause this is not ascend. I'm gonna create another, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and create another track uh, shift command N. Let's try that. Great. And I'm going to create another bus. And I guess I'll just go ahead and create all my buses right here. And I'll tell it none for the summing. And I'll do a drum P for a, a parallel drum compression setup. I'll choose red for that, meaning that it's an angry. The angry setting. So I want that window back. I don't want you to go away like that on me. Okay. But it's not listening, is it? So there. So I'm moving that. And um, yeah, this is getting a little confusing. I'm still gonna need to figure this out. So this is going into a main out, which is great. Uh, I guess, although I do want to create, can I create it from here? Yes. I'll create a new bus called the drum sub. I know this sounds a little bit crazy. I think this is following something I saw Fab set up a long, 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 long time ago. Do the same color, done, and it disappears again, which I don't want it to disappear. 
want to move this. So I need to understand how this works better. So this is an old thing I saw Fab set up where he puts basically stems at the front of the mix. And um, he sends, he'll send both of these to, you can see that's going to the drum sub. I want this now to go to the drum sub as well. And so this is now the master drum solo. So let's see what happens. Great. So just my drums are coming there. Let's do the spill. Okay. And so anything with drum sub on it is coming up in the spill mode, which is cool. And main, I'm going to rename to two bus for old, old school naming conventions. Sweet. Great. So now uh, we got that in there. Maybe I'll go ahead and uh, do this lighter color just so that these are a little bit different. How does that sound? Perfect. Great. Okay. So I got my drum, my drum parallel, uh, my drum sub, and this goes to the two bus, which is great. This is really cool because it just immediately shows me everything I want to see. Uh, and this is cool that you can shut off this stuff. Window. Okay, tracks. I see. I see. Oh, I can shut that off. So I can leave that open this whole time. That's why I'm so confused. Sorry, everybody. Okay, that kind of fixed it for me. Also, this guy, I don't think I need to see... Tempo, signature, minutes, seconds, although I can move that on, that's fine. The loop section, I probably want to leave. Okay, cool. I'm going to close that, great. I see. So, for whatever reason, I had shut that off. So, I see. Let's take these electrics. We will send these to a bus. There it is. We'll do none, and we'll do... Guitar, guitar sub. Great, guitar sub. Uh, we'll, we'll make it uh, this orange guy, and then I'll also take this guy and put it up here. Okay, great. Now things are starting to come together. So I got, I want my drum sub. Uh, probably my bass sub next. So I'll move my bass di here. After the drums, then guitar, then keys, then vocals. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Even though this guy is all alone right here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send him. Can I create from here? Yes, I can. So I'm gonna do that same thing I did earlier. Bass, sub. Okay. And now, I see, I can move the bass sub there. So now, on the front, I have select my guitars, send them to the guitar sub, perfect. Bass sub, guitar sub. These keys, I'm going to select them all, and I'm going to send them. I'm going to create it right here too, right? Oh, I see. Create a new routing and do a key sub. Okay. And now I think that's been created. Yes. And that will go here. Uh, so key sub, I'm going to change this color a little bit. Do this puke green. All right, so that's very nice. This is what I want to see. Drum sub, bass sub, guitar sub, key sub. Got my drums, followed by the bass, guitar, keys. Vocals, I need the vocal sub. Grab these right here and do, ah, uh, do this one, yep. Do um, lead sub. 
This is a throwback to uh, to Fab. Choose a color. I'm going to do this blue color. I'm going to put this lead sub at the top, and this is great because it all fits. I can see all my tracks really easily there on the left, which is really cool. Instead of you know moving through here, I can kind of jump jump to the middle quickly, which is great. And so that about does it for my setup. I think obviously as I mix, I'm going to start to do a couple more. But this is my general mixing setup, which is great. So now if I go, let's say, to the drums and I choose spill, I just have my drums and my drum bus, which is then sent to the drum sub. Uh, I really like that. Great. All right. Hit save. Actually, I don't need to hit save because it automatically saves everything, which is fantastic. So that does it for this video. The next video, I'm going to go right into mixing drums. After that, bass, guitar, keys, vocals, and then uh, the final two bus mix. And that should pretty much wrap it up. So thanks so much for checking this out. Please subscribe and hit that bell so you can stay in the loop on the upcoming videos. Thanks so much for watching.